Churches are being infiltrated by deceptive cults. Mainstream churches are being infiltrated by deceptive cults. And they're admitting it. They're in fact, they've, they've come out with this public announcement to tell everyone, look out, there's a cult trying to infiltrate our church. Over 500 parishes in London have warned about the activities of a group known as Paracristo. This is a South Korean cult that's trying to infiltrate the churches of London and around the world. But there's something else that not a lot of people, excuse me, not a lot of people are talking about. The Illuminati infiltration of the churches. It is much bigger than the South Korean cult who's infiltrating the churches. Churches across England are reporting that a deceptive cult is attempting to enlighten members of the UK's largest congregations through deception and control. The Church of England issued a formal alert to almost 500 parishes in London about the activities of the group known as Paracristo. Paracristo is the official name of a South Korean cult that is attempting to persuade members of the church through enlightenment and secret Bible study meetings. Members of the 500 churches told the Telegraph that the deceived would withdraw from family and friends and some gradually withdrew from work and school. Paracristo, the organization being labeled as a cult, is a registered charity that runs Bible study courses at an anonymous industrial unit under a Botox clinic and a personal training company in London Docklands. The cult is linked to a controversial South Korean group known as, I'm going to do my best to pronounce this, Shincheonji, or the New Heaven and New Earth Church, NHNE, whose founder, Man He Lee, is referred to as God's advocate. The cult has tentacles that span across the world, but a large part of their stronghold is within London. Members of the cult are alleged to have visited large evangelical congregations in London, inviting worshippers to special study groups. One British man is said to have gone to work with the group full-time, sleeping in bunks while telling family and friends he was busy pursuing a high-flying career in the city. Again, this is a small South Korean cult. But there's a much bigger cult that is influencing our churches. If you ever wondered why pastors aren't preaching that these are the end times, have you ever wondered why pastors aren't preaching total repentance? In, instead, these days it's like the pastors are preaching your best life now. Why don't we ask John the Baptist about the best life now? For those of you Christians out there, you'll know what I'm talking about. He was beheaded. Now, let me skip ahead a little bit. Paracristo is one of many organizations that are actively trying to infiltrate congregations far and wide. In the U.S., there are also reports of infiltration, infiltrations, such as the progressive Christian movement. I'm going to sum up the word progressive Christianity uh, pretty quickly here. Progressive Christianity is moving away from the old Christianity, progressing into a new Christianity. But what does God say in his word? He doesn't change. He's the same today, tomorrow, yesterday, and the day before that, and the year before that, going all the way back to the very beginning. He does not change. The most recent attack on Christians is the attempt to alter the persona of Jesus Christ as understood within Scripture. Now, As we go forward here, folks, we're going to find that they're going to come up with all these different scrolls and things that were supposedly found around Jesus. Let's put it that way. The ancient scrolls uncovered in Jordan recently were verified as authentic and genuine, meaning that the discovered tablets did originate from roughly 2,000 years ago, according to the Daily Mail. The metal pages held together like a ring binder were found in Jordan in around 2008 by a Jordanian uh, Bedouin and make reference to Christ and his disciples. Experts claim that the tablets date to within a few years of Jesus' ministry. They were apparently discovered by Hassan Sahidu, Sahida, excuse me, an Israeli, uh, who according to some reports was given them by his grandfather and by others that he discovered them in a flood. Uh, 
The artifacts were found in a remote part of Jordan to which Christian refugees are known to have fled after the fall of Jerusalem in 70 AD. David Elkington, 54, uh, says he is now trying to prevent the codices from being sold on the black market. Analysis of the script by scholars has confirmed the language of the codices is Paleo-Hebrew. The messages inscribed into the tablets are what is most astonishing. The tablets suggest that Christ was not starting his own religion, but restoring a thousand-year-old tradition from the time of King David. And the God he worshipped was both male and female. If you actually understand what the occult is, and the whole how they can play multiple different sides here, it's because there's a, a female persona of the devil, and there's a male persona of the devil. And there's a light and a dark to the devil. Lucifer would be considered the light. Satan would be considered the dark. And of course, we can see that through the, through the occult documents and things. Now that said, one of, the most, one of the largest infiltrations of Christianity was done by the Illuminati. While the Illuminati has never infiltrated the Holy Bible totally, smaller cults of the Illuminati, such as Freemasons, have created groups to, quote, enlighten, deceive, and control members and leaders of Christian churches. Some of the groups the Freemasons either created or helped create, such as Jehovah's Witnesses, the LDS Mormons, the Primitive Methodists, the Adventists, Moravians, and other Christian groups and denominations. For example, Joseph Smith Jr. was uh, of the Illuminati bloodline, and all the LDS church prophets are of the same bloodline. Charles Taze Russell, who started the Watchtower Society of the Jehovah's, Jehovah's Witnesses, was of the Russell Illuminati bloodlines. This is all from Fritz Springmeier. And Fritz Springmeier is one of the most well-known people who has studied the Illuminati bloodlines especially, and of course brought people out of the cults and brought people to Christianity. Now that said, this is the like one of the biggest infiltrations that's ever taken place to the church because it's been going on for thousands, hundreds of years. Over time, many cults and organizations have attempted to destroy real, unadulterated Christianity as the Bible describes it, but have thus far failed. However, as the war goes on, church leaders and pastors are increasingly becoming more flamboyant towards illuminated doctrines, rather than sticking entirely to the Word of God. This is why mankind is witnessing the totalitarian takeover of the church. Wake up, church. At some point, We've got to recognize what is actually going on. And back then, they all spoke about this. They knew that they were being infiltrated. They knew that they were under attack. And it was about warfare. It wasn't a freaking playground. And you weren't talking about your best life now. We're at war here. Battle. Because the war's already won. I really encourage you to watch this video. It's about an hour and a half long. Hang on, let me start it so I can see the actual. Two hours and 15 minutes. Uh, it's an interview with Fritz Springmeier and Timothy Alberino. Now, of course, as Christians, we must really question our pastors and church leaders, especially when it comes to those who are 501c3, because many are scared to lose their nonprofit status and governmental aid, for, and if, if their preaching contradicts that of the governmental and enlightened agendas. The church is under assault. Folks, time to wake up. Awake, O oh sleeper. It's on our mugs for a reason. We're at war. Battle, excuse me. Now, of course, as I told you all before, um, given this, this onslaught of fake news, here's our works cited section. You can come see where we got all of our information from if you'd like. We do this on just about every single post. I've been meaning to show you this for, for those of you guys who have just subscribed to our YouTube channel. With every report we have, here you go, work cited. Make sure you guys share this and get this out because there's a war for your soul. And I know it's very hard to see because of all the progressive. We've, we're moving past that. You, you don't need to worry about it anymore. It's okay. We, we don't need to worry anymore. Just have fun. But I can, I, can, I can guarantee you that there's a war for your soul. Not just your mind, but your soul. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Repent, be baptized, 
Seek ye the truth. Be set free. Please check out our unlimited section. Go to christiantruther.com slash info for more on that. And of course, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And make sure you click the bell so you can always be notified. God bless and carry on.